Hi, what's going on? It had been a scorching summer this year. The airflow from my AC ceiling unit needed improvement on a hot day like this summer, especially in the bunk room located at the rear of my trailer. I found the air chamber in the ceiling unit was not well insulated, and the separation between the air inlet and the outlet was not robust. In this video, I'm going to show you how I modified the air chamber to improve the airflow, the result was pretty good. The materials I used in this project were a foil duct tape and a 1 inch thickness insulation board from Home Depot. To access the air chamber, remove the AC grill, and then unfasten the mounting screws. Look at this factory's original chamber structure. The thin foam sheets are used for the separation of the air inlet and outlet. It doesn't look good to me to insulate the cooled air from the warm air. This chamber is for cooled air exhausted from the blower. And this chamber is for warm air before the heat exchanger. The foam sheets are not looking thick enough to insulate thermally. Also, I see some air gaps in the corners. Another thing I didn't like was the wall insulation. This is inside the cold air chamber. Only the foil duct tape was used around the wall. I'm going to put thicker insulation. To check the inside, remove the foam sheets. Take out the electronic control box from the bracket. After the foam sheets are removed, I see the entire chamber. The sheet metal divider sits in the middle inside. I notice that there is a gap between the edge of the divider and the duct inlet. This must be filled in for the better cooling. My original plan was just to build new insulation walls around the existing sheet metal divider, but soon, I realized that is not easy, because the space inside the chamber is not so large and it is difficult to measure the dimensions precisely. So I decided to remove the entire ceiling assembly. This is the ceiling bracket assembly. I made some prototypes using scrap cardboard before cutting the insulation board. This helped to figure out how to modify the chamber structure for improved airflow. My modification idea is to drive the airflow from the blower into the duct inlets on both sides more efficiently. Filling up unnecessary dead space and installing some flow guide like shown in the animation. Let's get started. I am now working on the inlet chamber modification. I'm building a box to fill out the dead space in the original inlet chamber. By doing so, the inlet air flow should go straight up to the heat exchanger, and the airflow speed should be increased. Tested fitting in the inlet chamber before moving on to the next section. As you see, the air channel where warm air is sucked would go straight up into the heat exchanger. Before the mod, there was a large overhang from the cover that seemed to block the smooth airflow. Looks like the corner is nicely tight. I guess the inlet chamber mod went well. Moving on to the cold air section. I built this airflow guide but it failed the fitting test. The guide was too tall to fit in the chamber because of the bottom layer of the board. Change the air guide profile. Now the end of the slope is nicely connected to the duct inlet. By flashing the bottom insulation board with the duct inlet, the air would flow into the duct smoothly and efficiently. Raise the apex of the guide closer to the ceiling of the chamber, but leaving enough room for it. I worried that being too close to the chamber ceiling could create unwanted back pressure on the blower. This time, the fitting test went very well. I covered the almost entire surface with foil duct tape. Maybe I went too crazy. I just didn't want to leave room for debris peeling off the edges in the future. Now, I am reinstalling the ceiling assembly unit with the modified chamber inserts. Hopefully, it does work well, I am looking forward to a good result. The last step, this is the warm air suction chamber, 
sealing the corner joint with foil tape to keep from air leaking. This is after the corner joint is sealed. Make sure no air gaps and open holes along the corner. After the inspection, I put the grill cover back and turned on the AC unit. Turned on my AC unit. The blower is running. I set the fan speed high. Because the temperature was not high enough to kick the AC compressor on, just the fan is running now. In my opinion, the air noise from the grill cover got quieter after the modification. Let's find out the airflow from the ceiling vents. It's hard to see, but the flow volume is increased. I am happy with the results especially the increased airflow at the rear of my trailer. Unfortunately, I will have to wait until next summer to see how much the air cooling in the bunk room got improved. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and thumbs up.